now we will discuss the electrical capacitance of a conductor the electrical capacitance of a conductor is the measure of its ability to hold a particular electric charge when an insulated conductor is given some charge it acquires a certain potential if we increase the charge on the conductor its potential also increases if a charge q put on an insulated conductor increases its potential by v then we can say charge is directly proportional to potential means q is directly proportional to v or we can write q is equal to cv the proportionality constant c is called the capacitance of the conductor thus we can write capacitance is equal to charge by potential hence the capacitance of a conductor may be defined as the charge required to increase the potential of the conductor by one by unit amount means the capacitance of a conductor is the charge required to increase the potential of the conductor by unit amount the capacitance of a conductor is the measure of its capacity to hold a large amount of charge without running a high potential it depends upon the following factors number 1 should be size and shape of the conductor number 2 should be nature or permittivity of the surrounding medium number 3 should be presence of the other conductors in its neighborhood so it is worth noting that the capacitance of a conductor does not depend on the nature of its material and the amount of charge existing on the conductor so now what should be the unit of capacitance basically the si unit of capacitance is farad so farad is given as the as named in the honor of michael faraday so the capacitance of conductor is 1 farad if the addition of a charge of 1 coulomb to it increases its potential by 1 volt means you can write 1 farad is equal to 1 coulomb by 1 volt so 1 farad is a very large unit of capacitance for practical purposes we use its different sub multiples means different smaller units of capacitance will be millifarad microfarad picofarad like this 1 millifarad will be 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 farad 1 microfarad will be 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad 1 nanofarad will be 1 into 10 to the power minus 9 farad 1 picofarad will be 1 into 10 to the power minus f means 10 to the power minus 12 farad so remember the dimension of capacitance the dimension of capacitance is m inverse l to the power minus 2 t to the power 4 and a square fine so now we will discuss the capacitance of an isolated spherical conductor spherical capacitor to obtain the expression for the capacitance of an isolated spherical conductor of radius say r small r so you have to consider an isolated spherical conductor of radius smaller the charge q plus q plus small q is uniformly distributed over its entire surface it can be assumed to be concentrated at the center of the sphere the potential at any point on the surface of the spherical conductor will be v is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q by r so th- from the definition of the potential we can write this v is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r so capacitance of the spherical conductor situated in vacuum is c is equal to q by b so in place of q let it be q in place of b you can put the value of potential 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r so that gives you the expression of capacitance of an isolated spherical conductor that is c is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 r so obviously from the above expression we can say that 
capacitance of a spherical conductor is proportional to its radius directly proportional to its radius and always remember the above equation is true for conducting spheres hollow or solid if the sphere is in a medium then c will be 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r into r into r means its radius so capacitance of the earth is 7 11 711 microfarad so one farad is a large unit of capacitance so it is not possible to have a single isolated conductor of very large capacitance so the capacitance of earth we can take 711 microfarad fine then now we will discuss the concept of a capacitor and its principle so the capacitance of an isolated conductor is small when a conductor holds a large amount of charge its potential is also high if the isolated if the associated electric field that is c is equal to sigma by epsilon 0 becomes high enough the atoms or the molecules of the surrounding air get ionized a breakdown occurs in the insulation of the surrounding medium and the charge put on the conductor gets neutralized or leaks away for air the breakdown points occurs at fields of the order of 3 into 10 to the power 6 volt meter inverse this puts the limit of the capacitance of the conductor moreover if we tend to have a single conductor of large capacitance it will have practically inconvenient large size so what should be the principle of a capacitor so the, for the principle of the capacitor you can consider a positively charged metal plate and place an uncharged plate let it be p close to it as shown in figure due to electrostatic induction the closer face of plate b acquires negative charge and its further face acquires a positive charge the negative charge on plate b tends to reduce the potential on plate a while the positive charge on plate b tends to increase the potential on plate a as the negative charge of the plate b is closer to plate a then its positive charge so the net effect is that the potential of a decreases by the small amount and hence its capacitance increases by a small amount fine now if the positive face of the plate b is earth means grounded its positive charge gets neutralized due to the flow of electrons from the earth to the plate b negative charge on b is held in position due to the positive charge on a the negative charge on b reduces the potential of a considerably and hence increases its capacitance by large amount hence we see that the capacitance of an insulated conductor is considerably increased when you place an earth means grounded connected conductor near it such a system of two conductors is called a capacitor so if you are asked that what is capacitor you can simply say that a capacitor is an arrangement of two conductors separated by an insulating medium that is used to store electric charge and electric energy a capacitor in general consists of two conductors of any size and shape carrying different potentials and charges and should be placed close together in some definite positions relative to one another.